Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and this week we'll be combining the previous two videos and make them one exercise. We found out that ascending in our descender is quite hard and descending in our ascender is even harder. So there's a reason the descender is called the descender and the ascender is called the ascender. So what are we going to do? We're going to go up in our ascender and then change over to our descender and come back down. Or for instance, we might descend off a platform, work at sea level, and then we need to climb back up. So we go down in our descender, do our work, change over to our ascender and climb back up. So as with before, I do my backup device first, put the rope in my chest ascender and get my handle ascender. I get ready to climb up. Do my first step. Organize my system. And start climbing. Same as before, I squeeze the rope with my free foot. Stand up, make sure it slides through neatly. And I climb up gently. What I want to prevent is shock loading in the tooth ascender, so I make every, every step smooth as possible. All right, one more step. Manage my backup. Right now I want to go back down, so I have to change over to my descender. If I've done everything correctly, then my descender is attached below my ascender. I open up the descender, thread in the rope in the proper way. I make the distance between the ascender and the descender as short as possible. And then I will mimic the same move as descending in our ascender. So I stand up a little bit and instead of pushing the cam down, I open it and take the rope out. But before that, I want li would like to say that this video is sponsored by Industrial Klim in the Netherlands. Right now, I'm suspended in the beautiful training facility where they provide any training you can think of regarding working at height. You can come here for your Arata training or your GWO training or any training in between. On, in the next door, there is a beautiful physical shop where you can come in and try all the different devices out. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web shop. So I step up, open the chest ascender, and sit back down. Let's do that again. So I stand up, open the chest ascender, and sit down in my descender. Here we go. I stand up, open the chest ascender, sit back down, close the chest ascender, and take my handle descender off. I will clean it up. Attach it back to my harness, do my rope management, take care that nothing is twisted, and I'm ready to descend. I'll check that my backup device is unlocked and following me down. I thread the tail end of the rope over the rounded edge of the descender, get the handle, and descend slowly while holding the rope in my right hand. That's it. Okay. So let's say I've descended down to above the water and I need to climb back up. First things first, I get my handle descender, close all the carabiners, attach it to my main rope or my working rope, put my foot in. I open my chest descender because that will save me time when I stand up. Then with my right hand, I grab the rope in between the descender and my hand of the sender, like so. So now when I stand up, my chest ascender will meet my hand and I can easily click the rope in and lock the chest ascender. All right, it's gonna be one smooth move and it will look like this. You stand up, put the rope in and lock it off. 
that's all. Very easy. Let's do it again. I will step out. So I open up the chest ascender, grab my handle ascender, grab the rope, stand up, put it in the chest ascender and lock it off and sit down. Now I'm ready to take the rope out of the descender. Do a little bit of rope management. Manage my back up. And start climbing back up the rope. Going back down, I open up my descender, thread the rope in properly, make the distance between the descender and the chest ascender as short as possible, step out of my ascender into my descender, clean up the stuff that I don't need. My backup is running freely and descend the rope. That's it. So in this video we've learned how to ascend the rope in our chest ascender, change over to our descender and come back down in the descender. Stop above the floor, change, change over back into the ascender and climb back up. With these skills we can almost pass all the obstructions that we can find in this room. In the next video, I will show you what to do if you come up against a damaged spot in the ropes. I will learn how to isolate it and how to pass the knots and how to climb back up the rope, pass the knots to, for instance, change the ropes out for new ones. If you like this video, please leave a comment hit that like button and subscribe so you will always be up to date with new videos. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.